Welcome to Nextstara TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily, and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010, User Guide Lesson 26, Envelopes. In this video, I'll be covering how to create single envelopes, and how to edit envelope sizes, address positioning, and much more. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about addressing a single envelope in Word. And Word makes this very easy. So if you've just written a letter, Word can generate an envelope for you automatically. All you need to do is highlight the delivery address, come up to Mailings, and click Envelopes. And you'll see that your address has already been populated in the Delivery Address field. Now for the return address, you can enter your return address manually. And then once you've entered a return address, Word will remember your return address from now on. You also have the option of omitting a return address by clicking the Omit button. And when you're addressing your envelopes, you can also choose the insert address option. And there's one above the delivery address and your return address. So if you click this button, it will pull in your contacts automatically. So this is pulling my contacts in from Outlook. So once you're in this area, you have a few features that you can choose to change. If you go to options, this will pull up envelope options. And this is where you're able to change the size of your envelope. The standard size of an envelope is the U.S. business envelope, but you can choose to change this by pulling this drop-down arrow, and you can search through the different types of envelope sizes and pick whichever one you want. Uh, you also have the option of changing your delivery address and your return address font. To do this, all you need to do is click the font button, and here you're able to change the font style and size of your envelope text. You can also change your delivery address and return address position through these controls. You'll see by moving these fields, you'll change the position of your return address or your delivery address, and you see how they move in this preview screen. You can also edit your printing options. So if you come over to printing options, you can change how your envelope will be fed through your printer, and you can also choose if your envelope will be printed face up or face down. Another option is to add e-postage. And if you click this button, you'll see that you need to install electronic postage software for this option to be used. Uh, but once you install that, then, you're, then you are able to use electronic postage. And then if you want to print your envelope, you can either select this print button and it will automatically print one copy of your envelope. Or if you want to change the details of your printing, you'll choose to add your envelope to your document. And you'll see since we didn't previously have a return address entered, we're prompted to set our default return address as the one that we entered. And we're just going to click OK. And you see it's added this envelope to your document. So if you want to print multiple copies of the envelope or change some of the printing settings, all you need to do is go to File, Print, and you'll see that you're able to change the number of copies and you can change which printer it will print to. Thank you for joining Nextstar TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 26 Envelopes. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextstara.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com front slash nextstara.